Running your air conditioner all summer in Southern California is expensive. We all know that sinking feeling when the utility bill arrives. But with temperatures in the high 90s and hundreds, it's getting way harder to live without the AC. So, can solar panels actually help lower those cooling costs? Hey everyone, I'm Nick from Formi Solar, and today we're talking about how many solar panels you need to run your AC here in Southern California. All right, let's start with the basics. To figure out how much solar you need, we first need to figure out how much energy your AC needs. And this can get tricky, so we're gonna try and keep it as simple as possible. Small window units, for example, can use anywhere between 500 and 1500 watts. But if you've got central air for your whole house, which most of us in Southern California do, you're looking at anywhere between 3000 and 5000 watts. Now here's the thing about ACs. They don't run at full power all the time. When it first kicks on, it needs a little bit of extra juice just to start. But once your house has cooled, it will then run at a more steady pace to keep things at a constant temperature. Think of it like driving. You use way more gas accelerating than if you were just cruising. So how do we calculate data energy use. Let's use a real example. Let's say you've got a 3000 watt central AC system, which is pretty typical for a Southern California home. You're going to run that for about eight hours on a hot summer day. To get a realistic number, we're going to multiply 3000 by eight hours and then divide that number by two to account for the cycling on and off. That gives us about 12 kilowatt hours per day. Now, Southern California on average will charge about 45 cents per kilowatt hour. These are some of the highest rates in the country. So that's just over $5 a day just for the AC. And that's only for eight hours hours. Over a month, you're looking at 150 bucks or more just for the AC. All right, so how many panels do we actually need? Here in Southern California, we're lucky enough to get about five and a half peak sun hours per day. That's when panels work at their best. If your AC needs 12 kilowatt hours per day and you get five and a half hours of good sun, you need about 2200 watts of solar panels. But here's the catch. Solar panels rarely work at max output. Those are really based on theoretical test conditions within a lab. But between soiling and weather changes, cloudy days and shading, the actual performance is less. So realistically, you can actually lose up to 25% of the actual output power. In a practical sense, you really need more like 2,750 watts of solar panels. That's roughly seven 400 watt panels just for your AC. But remember, the sun doesn't shine at night, and that's when a lot of us still need cooling during the summer. This is where batteries come in, and we'll get to that in a second. But first, if you want to see exactly what your home needs, get a quote from the link below. Here's the game changer, adding a battery to your solar system. Without a battery, your solar panels can support your AC usage during the day, but at night, you're back on the grid paying the highest rates of your day. With a battery system like the Tesla Powerwall or a Franklin Whole Home battery, you store that extra solar energy during the day and use it at night. One Powerwall stores about 13 kilowatt hours, enough to run your AC for several hours after the sun goes down. The best part? In Southern California, we have time of use rates. Electricity for most folks costs way more between 4 to 9 p.m. With solar and batteries, you're using your own power that you generated for free during the most expensive times of your day. Let me give you a real world scenario. Say you want to run your central AC guilt free all summer long. You're going to need about two batteries and anywhere between 15 to 18 solar panels for your home. The reason for this is not only do you want to supply power to your house during the daytime, but you also want to make sure there's enough juice to charge the batteries within a reasonable amount of time so that you can use it later at night. Yes, it's an investment up front, but think about it. You're basically prepaying for 25 years of summer cooling at today's prices. With utility rates going up every year, sometimes several times a year, that investment looks better and better. Plus, here's something cool. Solar panels actually produce more power during the summer when you need AC the most. In July, your solar panels generally produce up to 50% more than what they would typically produce in January. It's like nature's timing is perfect. Look, despite the increasing need to do so, running AC in Southern California isn't getting any cheaper. But with the right solar and battery setup, you can cool your home without the monthly bill anxiety. We install these systems every day here at Formi Solar, and we know exactly how to size them for our climate. Want to find out how many panels your home needs? Click the link below for a free quote. We'll look at your actual usage, your roof, and design a system that will keep you cool without breaking the bank. If this helped you understand solar and AC better, hit the like and subscribe button for more straight talk about solar here in Southern California. I'm Nick from Formi Solar and we'll see you next time.